exciting uh, movie to review here this morning with Michael Cook. And you can see it behind us, Twisters. I'm a meteorologist. I've never seen a tornado in real life. I like the first Twisters movie, so how is the second one? Well, the second one, funny enough, I never saw the first one, so I don't have a frame of reference. Okay. So for me, this was a standalone uh, movie. Uh, stars Glenn Powell, Daisy Edgar Jones, uh, uh, two storm chasers uh, in central Oklahoma who are, uh, you know, they have a friendly rivalry, of course, with romantic uh, undertones potentially as they go through uh, uh, the state of Oklahoma chasing these twisters that are wrecking havoc uh, along uh, the way. Anthony Ramos rounds out the cast uh, and it's a it's an absolutely thrilling movie that deserves to be seen uh, on the on the big screen with the CGI and the special effects and the car chases and all the tornadoes. Uh, so it's a, a extremely well done movie that is a lot of fun and it delivers on it uh, on what meet what it is, which is a summer blockbuster film. Uh, and so what, what are you gonna, when are you giving it for a rating? Uh, I'll give this one an eight and a half out of 10. So that's really good. And yeah. I heard some stuff about the movie where it is extremely accurate as far as meteorology, the, the, the terms. Sure. And, the, and, the, and I just saw a clip at the beginning of that VO that they actually used a clip from our sister station in oh. Oklahoma City. So that's pretty cool. And I heard you got to interview yes. some of the stars in the movie. Yes, we're gonna show it here right now. I got, got to actually interview uh, via Zoom the stars of this movie, Glenn Powell and uh, Daisy Edgar Jones. So That's I think awesome. we'll, we'll go. To uh, that. Well, first off, what uh, appealed to you about joining this particular film? It was a lot of fun. I, I'd like to hear why you all decided to do this movie. Well, I, obviously the original is so brilliant, and I think the world of storm chasing is so uh, exciting. And you know, when you watch it and see the enthusiasm these people have for the sky and for nature and for for riding, I mean, it, you know, that in itself is so enticing. But I think. Um, for me, I was such a huge fan of Lee Isaac Chung, our director. He directed the film called Minari, which I had fallen in love with in COVID. And, you know, him taking on this big budget, massive kind of uh, blockbuster was so exciting to me. And, and to see that he would imbue it both with uh, the scale and the fun, but also with true characters that are complex and uh, grounded in, in truth. And so, yeah, I mean, also to work with, with Glenn and, and to do big stunts, I'd never done anything like it. I was so excited to, 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 to give it a go. In the in the movie, your characters start off as uh, as rivals with different uh, storm tracking teams. Uh, on set, did you all have any kind of friendly rivalry, like who got to do the the cooler stunt or, or things like along those lines? I mean, I'll just say this: is that um, you never want to compete with Daisy Edgar Jones in anything. It's a it's you, it's a losing it's a losing bet. We we when we showed up to the National Weather Center, I was just so surprised with how much knowledge she was already coming into this world with she had clearly done her homework her reading you know and and uh that's what a movie like this takes to really make sure that when you're talking about the weather i mean these are our cowboy scientists you know and and, and they're from this place and and it, anybody that you talk to from oklahoma it's been wild to everybody feels like they talk like a meteorologist mm. it's like wild and and uh to really dive into that world and to feel authentic, you know, you need someone like Daisy who really takes the, the work seriously. So um, I wouldn't say there was any sort of uh, rivalry. I would say that it was always like a team sport and we were always egging each other on to go, you know, go faster and do more and, and all that. What was the most thrilling scene uh, to, to film for you all without giving anything away to our viewers who have not seen the film yet? I mean, I think I think it has to be the the motel sequence. There's a sequence where we follow our characters from a motel into a into an empty pool, and then we come back out again, and there's sort of the devastation uh, from the aftermath. And I mean, that was wild to film. It was all done on a one-er as well. So there's this pace to it. There's this adrenaline to it. I'm I'm so proud of how it turned out. But um, I mean, they were dropping horse trailers on us and vending machines and people on wires being flung up into the sky. And we were also filming in December in Oklahoma in shorts, tank tops, and with rain and wind machines. So it was freezing. My friends and I got a kick that uh, Glenn, your character is from out of Arkansas. That was a nice touch. I know the director has a uh, an Arkansas connection, so thank you for that. Of course, uh, my pleasure. I you know I I, I repped a uh, Arkansas hat. You know I'm I'm a I'm a Texas Longhorn, and I I repped a, a, a Razorback hat. For, for most of pre-production to really try to transition from <laughs> Glenn Powell to Tyler Owens. <laughs> thank you, thank you. A lot of fun movie you see the theaters today, uh, opening in, in Little Rock at a theater near you. And like I said, I give it an eight and a half out of 10. So I hope you folks go see it. I'm gonna have to head out and see it. I mean, yeah. I like the first one. The second one, I'm sure I'm gonna love. You'll have a good time, most doubt.